everyone this year we can't have our usual sports day which is really sad and we're missing everybody so much so we had an idea this year we're going to have the soccer olympics the soccer olympics can take place at home or in school it's up to you you'll need a sock preferably not a smelly one a nice clean one and you might want to stuff it with something mine is stuffed with rice and then i've decided to decorate it so we've got some eyes We've got a little bit too much glitter because Miss Hughes was helping me. And then I've tied it up and it's all ready. And in a little while, you'll be able to watch some videos of our staff sharing the different activities you can do with the Sock Olympics. We really hope you enjoy yourself and you record your scores for the different activities on the sheet that we've sent home as well. If you'd like, you could make a video or send us a photograph of you doing some of the activities so we can make a film of it that everyone can watch in our school. We hope you're all okay. We're really missing you and we hope you really enjoy our special day for the Sock Olympics. Are you ready? Get set, go. So I'm going to demonstrate the sock throw. So you need to start from the same place each time. So I'm gonna use a stick to mark where my feet should go. You need your sock and then you need something to measure with. So I've got a tape measure here. You have to start in the same place and then you need to throw. So I'm going to pull right back because I want my sock to go as far as possible. And I'm going to go one, two, three, has travelled 6.5 metres. Can you beat my score? Have a try. For this Olympics, we are going to do a hoop sock Olympic, where you'll need a hoop, you've got your sock, you can decorate your sock, and you will also need a tape measure. So you'll start off by placing the hoop as far as you possibly can. So, as I've demonstrated here, we are then going to have a go at throwing our sock into the hoop. That was super easy, so I will make sure that I am now pushing our hoop further away. This will make it a lot trickier. As you can see, I have missed which means that this is how far that I am able to throw it into the hoop and I will measure how far it is. is showing that I have thrown um, the sock from over here up to there about 330 centimeters. So I'm going to show you how to do sock bowling. So you will need a stuffed sock and you will need five objects that you can knock down. So I've got plant pots but you could use empty bottles, paper cups, um, anything at all that you can knock down. So you need to set your objects up spaces in between. You don't want them too far apart though because the aim of the game is to try and get a strike which is where you knock all of your objects down. So you take your stuff sock. So the aim of the game is to knock down all of your objects. So you're going to have six goes and after each go you need to count how many of your objects you knock down. And after your six goes you'll add up all of your totals and that is your total score. So you need to stand back from your objects, hold your sock tightly, get the bowling stance, get a good arm swing and throw your sock. 
up. So I got three knocked down there. So I'm going to write down three as my first score. Okay, so this is my last go now. This is go number six. And I'm already at a total of 18. So let's see what my total will be after this go. Ooh, fingers crossed. Oh. So now my score is 21 because I've just knocked another three down. But I've not managed to get a strike. Welcome to Wimbledon 2020. As Wimbledon is not taking place this year, I've decided to bring the Sock Olympics to the tennis courts. Your challenge is to see how many times you can keep your sock in the air without letting it drop on the floor. Welcome to the Sock Olympics and Bucket Catch. So my uh, sport is how many times can you get the sock into the bin in 10 goes? Find yourself a friend who's going to hold the bin and then you're going to stand approximately two of your body lengths away from the bin and how many times can you get into the bin in 10 goes? Are we ready? Yeah! Oh! Yeah! yeah. One more go for luck. rainbow sock throw. So Mrs Patton's going to tell the Key Stage 1 children what to do and then I'm going to tell the children from Key Stage 2. So take it away Mrs Patton. Okay so you need your sock for this. You need to put your socks in one hand and you're going to throw it to the other just like this and you're going to see how many times you can do it in one minute. Then when you finish the challenge record your score on your scorecard. Uh, for key stage two, it's exactly the same. You're going to get your sock in one hand and you're going to watch and throw it and see how many times you can do it, but just in 30 seconds. Remember to keep your eye on your sock and uh, concentrate on where it's landing. Good luck and then put your scores on the card. Hello children, so my challenge to you is how many times can you clap before you catch your sock? Are you ready? So you have to go one. Two, three, four. Oh no! So I managed to do four, so I can record four on my chart. How many can you do? Welcome to Sock Olympics. Today we're going to demonstrate sock taekwondo. The idea is to kick the sock. The person who kicks the sock the highest is the winner. One, action. This is the hammer throw. So you're going to do a big helicopter around your head and you're going to let go, which I'll show you in a minute. And you need to get your grown up to measure from where you're standing to the distance of your furthest throw and measure it in meters and write that on your scorecard. Guess who made this sock? So it's the keepy uppy challenge. So nobody will beat this because this is the best keepy uppy sock going. Here we go. Oh, ten. Not bad. So how do we score? Have three goals, get your best score and write that one down. Good luck. For those of you who don't like using your feet, perhaps you could try your hands instead. So, patting it from one to the other and see how many you can get then. Same thing, three goals, highest one count. 